All right, in this recording, I'm going to show you how to set up a contact form or a quote form or any form you want. I already made a page for it and set up the menu, uh, but you can see it's blank, so let's get to it. The first thing you obviously do is log in. And on the left side here, go to plugins and click add new. This plugin is called Contact Form 7, also known as CF7. Click Install Now and activate it. Once we do that, on the left side right here, it's going to have a contact button. Click it. And we can see what our, our basic form that they give us is going to look like. It has your name, it then has your name, and then it has uh, the your name text field, and it has your email, and then it has the email text field, and so on. And then it has a submit button. So to add a new uh, to add a new element to it, we just generate tag and you can do different ones. You can do a drop down menu or a checkbox or a radio button. And they're all pretty straightforward. The least straightforward one is file upload. So let's do that one. One second, I'm getting a call. Alright, so we clicked file upload. And what you have to do here is copy this little code so that it shows up in your form. And we're going to do it right after message. And what I like to do is I like to copy this and paste it and put upload file. The BR makes it a new line, so it's going to say upload file, and then it's going to have a BR, new line, and then it's going to show uh, the choose a file button. And I just copy the same formatting that they have. The next thing you're going to want to do is this area down here shows what your email is going to look like. So it's going to have your uh, subject and your message. And then we want to say which file it is. What file did they upload? So, uploaded file. And that's what's going to email you once someone fills out the form. The upload file is a little different than any other tag because you can now you need to take this right here and put it inside this the file attachments so this file that they uploaded you're gonna get the name of it here but it also needs to be a, an attached file when it sends to your email this is the code that you're gonna use um, when making a page about it. This is the code that corresponds with this form. So let's copy it and let's save this form. Now let's go to our pages and go to the form and paste that in. I think you have to make sure it's HTML. I'm not 100% sure about that but just click HTML and put that in there. Then click update. Now we go to the site and get a quote. We can just say it's get a quote, but enter in my name, my email address, subject, and then we choose the file. And we press send. Now, hopefully, it should be in our email. And there it is. And it has our attachment. So that's how you make a form with an attachment. If you need more help, you can reach me or ask or comment or uh, email me at tylermore at gmail.com. You can even call. Thank you.